Hello, I'm Mike Shrimpling, a partner in the competition team here at Osborne Clark, and welcome to the competition section of this year's Regulatory Outlook. 2018, as ever, promises to be a bumper year of competition law enforcement and regulation, and we expect there to be some significant developments which will affect clients of all sizes and sectors. Just to pick out three of those for, for present purposes, the first is the European Court of Justice's important judgment in the Coty case, which will have some very significant implications this year for brand owners and product manufacturers who are looking to control the way in which their products are sold online, particularly through third-party platforms such as Amazon Marketplace and eBay. Secondly, and also connected to online retailing, a new geo-blocking regulation will come into effect this year across Europe, and for the time being that includes the UK. Um, amongst other things, the regulation will uh, prevent companies from redirecting customers automatically to particular local websites depending on their geographic location. So, for example, if I'm uh, doing some online shopping in a cafe in Paris and I go on a company's .co.uk website, it will no longer be permissible for that company to transfer me automatically across to the .fr or French website. Finally, it would be remiss of me not to cover Brexit, given the potentially seismic impact that that could have long term on UK competition law and trade policy. Um, at the moment, the UK's uh, approach, as you're probably aware, is to try and keep the UK rules very much in line with EU, at least immediately post-Brexit. But we see certain areas, and one of those in particular is state aid, where we just don't think it's going to be possible to have close alignment in that case, it's because of the way in which the system is currently structured so that most decisions, if not all decisions, are made by the European institutions themselves. So there's a lot of work for the UK government to do this year to um, work out exactly how it's going to produce a, a coherent state aid regime in the UK. For more detail on this and the, the other interesting developments, please see the, the wider regulatory outlook document. Um, thank you for your time.